Recently, I got a comment from my subscriber with a question. Daniel, is Dart programming language worth learning today? I like this question, because there is a growing discussion all over the internet that Dart might go away soon. That's what we're going to talk about today. But is it true? My name is Daniel, and today we are going to discuss Dart programming language, its perspectiveness from the programming side, career side, and we will find out whether Dart is worth learning today. Let's get started. What kind of programming language is Dart? First, we need to understand what Dart is. This programming language was developed by Google in 2011. At that moment, it was designed specifically for building fast apps on different platforms, like web, mobile, server and desktop applications, among other things. This language uses C-style syntax. Moreover, today developer salary starts from 80k for junior level position and 127k for more senior levels. Dart is kind of like Swiss Army knife. It can do a lot of different things. And it helps to make the stuff you see on the app in a very easy way. A lot of programmers compare Dart with JavaScript. And there is a reason for it. Because from the beginning this programming language was designed to compete specifically with JavaScript. Initially Google was so confident about this language that Google's engineering team said that this language could replace JavaScript soon. But it didn't happen. And this language wasn't successful like it was expected. Moreover, some developers community suggested to avoid learning this language. The main reasons was a limited number of online resources. And because of this, it's hard to find solutions to certain problems. In addition to that, it was rarely used in the market. And because of a small amount of real-life projects where Dart was used, the career perspective looked uncertain. Why Dart is cool? Guys, if you like my content, please feel free to subscribe, hit the like button and ring the bell. This way you won't lose my new videos. Thanks! So why should we care about Dart then? Well, since the beginning this programming language evolved a lot. If you want to make an app for iPhones or Android phones, Dart is actually one of the fastest ways to do it today. But this language isn't just about being fast. It is well suited for building complex, high-performance applications with a clean and type-safe syntax. And I would add that this language is pretty easy to learn, especially if you have programming background. And today it has a way bigger development community than it did before. Dart helps to make apps look nice and work well, which is super important. It also has neat tools that finish your code. And these tools lets you see changes as they happen. This is pretty cool because it saves time. Moreover, after Google launched a Flutter software development kit that was written on Dart, this language became a way more worthy to learn. And Flutter, guys, is a real cool thing. Mainly because it can develop applications for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, Linux and web from a single codebase and with a pretty high performance. And when you need to create, for example, an MVP, Flutter is a perfect solution. That's why Stack Overflow, one of the biggest online dev communities, identified Flutter as most popular development framework. And because of all this stuff related with Flutter, Dart's popularity increased a lot. Moreover, today Flutter is much more popular than even Dart. Since 2011 Dart changed and improved, and today it has third version with a huge potential. Dart vs others Ok, Dart sounds cool. But how does it compare to others programming languages? Let's compare it with JavaScript, for example. JavaScript language is the perfect solution for web development, front-end and back-end part. Dart, on the other hand, is like a big toolkit you would need for a project. It's more difficult to get JavaScript on mobile and web applications compared to Dart, because Dart was created in a way to make apps easy. Dart is approximately two times faster than JavaScript, and it is a way more type-safe. Dart can do things JavaScript cannot, like it can spot mistakes right in the code before the app even starts. And this feature can save a lot of time and headaches for coders. Dart is easy scalable across projects, and its language syntax and features is similar to C and JavaScript. So if you already know JavaScript, it will be much easier for you to learn Dart. But if you are a beginner in overall programming, Dart is probably not the best choice for you. Because in my opinion, it's not a beginner language at all. And it has also some disadvantages. For example, it is clearly a bad idea to use it for servers or web development. Besides, this programming language still has limited resources online. And it's pretty hard to find solutions when you have a problem. Comparing with JavaScript or Python. So if you have some critical issues in your code that need to be solved as up, 
and there is no one to ask how to solve it, that even Google cannot help you, it could be a problem, especially for non-experienced programmers. Does Dart have a future? And now we came to a final question. Is Dart going away this year or anytime soon? So when Dart started, it was a bit of an outsider. But over time, it grew up and proved that this programming language could do the job. And in some cases, great job. Today Dart is a big part of Flutter, Google's toolkit for making beautiful apps. Many big companies like Alibaba and eBay use Dart and Flutter to make their apps. That's why Dart is a big player in the app-making world. The truth is, every programming language has its strengths and weaknesses. So answering the question of whether Dart is going away soon, like some people saying in the internet, my answer is definitely no. It holds its ground in the world of computer languages. Just look at this chart. You can see that Dart's popularity growing year by year. To sum up my opinion, if you want to choose learning Dart for Flutter, it will be definitely a good idea. And you see yourself in app development, this language will be definitely a good idea to learn. But what do you think about Dart? I would love to hear from you in the comments. Think about it and until next time.